everyone. Um, I'm Daniela, and I welcome you on behalf of 2025 Initiative. Today we are gathered for an online conference uh, with the topic of uh, sevenfold formula to assert the plan of love and light towards 2025. Uh, our panelists for today are members of the Planetary System Project, which we will present uh, shortly. Before, but before we will be guided by Antonella uh, through a brief alignment. Can you, Antonella? Can you please guide us? Yes. Okay, so hello to everyone. Um, let's just um, align to today to the solstice vertical um, sense of the alignment, which is through the doors of Cancer and Capricorn, which are the two doors of um, incarnation and initiation. So today, exactly at noon here, at least, um, it occurred this um, moment without time and uh, the alignment between Earth, Sun and uh, these two doors is um, focusing the energies, initiatory energies of Sirius which help us to work towards the path of initiation and uh, develop in us the spiritual sensitivity. So let's concentrate in our heart and feel in the here and now the unity of everything, of every being, and of every time. We are the units of one only heart, the universal heart. And from this center, from this human central presence, we assert the plan of love and light on earth. With this sense of oneness, we can begin to explore our topic. And I don't know, Daniela, if you want to add something. No, thank you for the uh, alignment. Go, please go ahead. Okay. So can I share my screen? Yes, allow me to I... stop sharing mine. Or maybe I can do. Okay. Now you can click on the little screen, on the icon of the screen, and you will be able to share. Hmm. Can't remember where it is. It's on your control panel, just mm -hmm. on the left uh, of uh, the control panel, showing audience sharing webcam. On the left, there are icons, one with the microphone, then below it's video. And then just below there is a little screen. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
but I can't choose. You see the 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 icon? Yeah, but yeah, but I can't click. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Very disturbed. There are many energies. Yes. <laughs> <Tonight. Today. laughs> My computer just crashed the quarter. <laughs> it goes. So we'll see if uh, the Devic energies yes. will allow us. <laughs> What I can do is make a presenter and maybe that will change something for you. Oh, echo. Okay. okay, probably you can. See. Yes, yes, now, yeah, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so um, I begin to speak in in the name of this project, which uh, in the last uh, solstices presented um, the signs of the heavens and then some topics uh, about the plan and the possibility to organize this plan and each thought forms in seven uh, ray centers, in seven living uh, centers. Uh, and also the, the group work and so on. So this is called the planetary system because it is just the name system of this sense of an order and uh, group or, or ensemble of parts. And uh, there is a website and there are three languages and many articles uh, published mainly in Italian, but also in English in English and in French. Okay. So this time we will present um, a living being that we are invited to build together tonight and to hold in our heart um, in preparing the 2025 crucial date. Um, this verb is important to assert the plan of love and light, not only, uh, not simply to work out, but there is a, a sense of first ray, and we will see why. But let's begin with the signs of the heavens, as usual, as we are um, asked by the 2025 initiative to do in these solstices. Uh, discontinuities. So this is the heliocentric heaven of um, today and uh, heliocentric because uh, it's um, it's a revelator of the deeper evolutionary causes of the human and planetary advance. So we can see here at the top uh, at just at the door of the, of the gate of the gods which is the door of Capricorn we see our earth which will meet in order Saturn, uh, Mars, and Pluto. So really the, the two most uh, uh, powerful and also demanding uh, energies and principles. So it's, it's like a, a kind of solar court marshal that awaits us at this threshold. So the Lords of the Trial and Transformation uh, are now dominating in Capricorn, which is, we know, the initiatory summit, and which is the source of the first, the third, and seventh ray. So it deals with power government, plan economy, and order organization. We have seen since 2008, when Pluto entered Capricorn, the, the big crisis in all these three fields government, economy, and organization, international organization. So in a subsequent configuration, the Earth, which is a third ray non-sacred, and is the, the sphere of the consciousness, or, or better, where the um, consciousness uh, becomes aware, the, the take, takes, taking consciousness. And, 
And so uh, the Earth will meet Saturn, further A, the master of creative intelligence and light, the sacred planet of further A. So our master in thought, in creation and so on. Then Mars, six ray, the prince and principle of desire and conflict, the lord of war. So, and it's related to the astral body of our planetary logos. And then the destroyer and reformer, Pluto, first ray, so this resolutive tension uh, created by these convergences in the sign of transfiguration, which is the third initiation, speaks of a change of a cha change of pace, a decisive acceleration of the rhythms and the habitual currents of the energies. And we see here in Aries, still in Aries heliocentrically, Uranus seventh ray, the Lord of reordering which is exactly in trine to our planet, means that helps uh, creatively from the edge of Aries and uh, commands uh, it and makes all things new, which is, this is a good formula for the seventh ray, makes all things new, reorienting them to their real function, to reorienting the, uh, everything to the real function that is the one according to the evolutionary purpose. The other lord of the deep heavens, Neptune, six ray. Now I take okay. Neptune six ray is in Pisces, and Neptune is the Christ of the solar waters, so to speak, and uh, is sub is now constructively supporting uh, this process. And, and so do also other luminaries which uh, safeguard this revolution in, uh, in, en in consciousness and in energies. We see Jupiter in Scorpio, the sign of the battle, which is sextile. We see Mercury from Virgo trine and so on. Only um, Venus, fifth ray here in Libra, the mind um, used with wisdom, this is Venus. Um, and which is the maximum distributor of the hierarchical or initiatory energies of Capricorn, dynamically confronts the strong and regimental works of Mars and Saturn through this double square. So to maintain the balance in this difficult climax, Venus, we can say that traces the path to the world of causes because the air of Libra reminds of this dimension and which is the middle way for humanity so the world of causes which is the monastic plane where our soul is attested oh please interrupt me whenever or if somebody has something to ask from a geocentric point of view, we see that uh, Uranus, the initiator, the solar initiator, is already in Taurus since uh, the 15th of May and uh, is trying to Saturn. So we can say that con it conveys the transfiguring thrust of Capricorn into the human consciousness, produ producing undismayed struggles definitive opposition for the local triumph of either the spiritual or material forces of light or of delay. So we can say for us that um, at the solstice of June starts uh, the, the second half of the annual cycle for the Earth and for humanity. So it's the waning one, the waning part of the cycle of the revolutionary periodic uh, year. And um, so the full expression and harvest of the fruits is resulting from the sowing of the first waxing part. So we can ask ourselves, how will this critical karmic meeting point be put into use? What will be its harvest, general or local? So each unit of consciousness will answer depending on their point of evolution, of course. Um, we will have to discern either the right direction or if indulging in the old groups or the material rhythms assigned by our 
very vehicles of manifestation. So we can uh, sum up these config configurations of causal energies in this way. The process of transformation, transmutation and transfiguration of planet Earth can be summed up in the one word, redemption. If therefore a planetary redemption is involved in conscious cooperation with the divine purpose. This ties in with the emphasis in all the true esoteric schools now and in the future on the life aspect, on the divine will and on the development of the new yoga, the yoga of synthesis, the fiery yoga. So here another quote from externalization of hierarchy. The yoga for this transition period is the yoga of the, the one-pointed intent of directed purpose of a constant practice of the presence of God and of order, regular meditation carried forward systemic, systematically and steadily over years of effort. So, Let's go back uh, to the heaven, and this is a chart that we already showed in the last solstices. It's just um, innerly, we see uh, the, um, the chart of the December 2017, which began the, um, uh, which began, oh sorry, outwardly, 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 we, we see the position of Saturn last solstice December, and uh, innerly we see the position of the planets in 2025. So the fact that we have to consider, the most important, is that seven years uh, prepare us to the, to the summit of the 2025. And it's just corresponded to the entrance of uh, Uranus, which heliocentrically, heliocentrically will be in September the 3rd, uh, in Taurus. In Taurus, and uh, in 2025, we see here Uranus, which will be in conjunction with the star Alcione in the Pleiades, which is the center of the seven solar system. So it will be an alignment very initiatory and from this systemical uh, point of view. And so these seven years are an opportunity for us to prepare in a systemic way, as I said. And um, so it's um, and just just remind um, that 2025 is the date indicated as crucial for the externalization of the hierarchy and the reappearance of the fourth ray of the fourth hierarchy of the initiates, which are us in essence. So we, as part of the new group of our servers, can consider these seven steps toward 2025 of Uranus in Taurus, because Uranus is the rising seventh ray and ruler of Aquarius, the new age. And, um, and Taurus, the sign where, or the light, the light of life, uh, where it enters, is a sign very strictly related to our Earth, to Pleiades, as well to the Great Beard, to Pluto, Shambhala, and so to the first life aspect. We, we have already so, um, seen in the last solstices the other great signs of the heavens, like Jupiter in conjunction with Sirius, the Neptune and Saturn at the zero degree of Aries, which again is a great sign of initiation for all um, concerns, communities, and plan and uh, creation. So, uh, the other thing to remember in this solstice that we each, each time recall is um, is this in the background of the cosmic temple in which we live move and are we have in these um, solstices uh, the orion series polarity which are the two origins the great cosmic christ we could say 
And so through the Sun-Earth axis viewfinder, we can align with these uh, two cosmic regions from one side. And from the other side, with the galactic center. And this happens every 13,000 years. So it's really a, a very cosmic initiatory time. Maya, the Mayan know, knew <laughs> better, but know also in, uh, in other dimensions. And uh, there are plenty of uh, these hints in online. So Earth and humanity are very placed in a great initiatory chamber. Great risks, great opportunities, great unexpected results. So to help this passage between the highest and lowest, there are many ways, yet one only direct way we can say, and also the esoteric teaching affirms, to stand in the center, acting as a unit from the soul or causal plane, uh, there were the true common heart pulsates because this, the human soul is attested on this, this causal level which is the higher manas and so is the plane of the real fiery love of the our son of sons which is the source of the hierarchical inspiration so in the heaven we have a serious and and in us we have the uh, soul lotus which is exactly the the place of fire for the christ principle which uh, lives and pulsates in the heart of each atom of each unit of this one life so okay we have seen this So it is for us, therefore, as apprentices of the celestial man, to ever improve ourselves in following the solar evolutionary plan in order that the higher purpose is revealed, it can be revealed. So the heavenly plan in this solstitial impulse, in summary, we can say that it commands ascent to the Christic consciousness because of Sirius, because this initiatory climax in Capricorn, because it's uh, really a, an intense um, presence of these um, principles in the, this sign of initiation of transfiguration. So the solar will commands ascent to the Christic consciousness. Okay, so we can say that the end intent of these solstice presentations supported by this intensity and verticality of the current cosmic and solar energies is to focus on the hierarchical principle in order to support the re-establishment through us, which are the group of world servers, in essence, to the fourth creative hierarchy of a hierarchical humanity that is a planetary order of hearts from the causal level throughout the free world. So we know that the energies of Sirius, or the cosmic Christ in a way, use all the three highest schemes of synthesis as they are called Uranus first, Neptune second and Saturn third. And concerning our Earth, it is through the sign of the Savior, salvation and saving force of Pisces via Uranus, which is uh, indicated as the Lord of Hierarchy by Agni Yoga. So it is uh, right through Sirius, Pisces, Uranus, that our hierarchy, the planetary heart, is informed, empowered, as well as the heart center of all initiates and disciples. Thus, the seventh ray of the Lord of the Solar Mysteries, Uranus, is fundamental to bring love, the universal motive, throughout the seven levels of our manifestation. And so we have to mention, of course, also Jupiter, which is the second ray of our current solar system, um, which uh, 
stays exactly one year in each sign. So it's marking up the seven steps of Uranus in Taurus towards 2025, each year with a different lesson on zodiacal quality. This year we have uh, Scorpio and in the end of the year we will have Sagittario. Sagittario. So the construction, the harmonic construction of, um, of harmony and, and then the, the triumph of the dynamic fire of, the, of wisdom of Sagittarius will be the lessons that in consciousness we have as a one group of humanity, we have to realize and to, to climb on this ladder of seven steps. So now we are in Scorpio and it's, it seems that we are in Scorpio as humanity since many, many decades. Actually, we are still in a sort of world war, but uh, we know that uh, uh, until we are in the fifth race, this uh, separativeness or a glamour or illusion of separativeness will do its own work to just reveal the necessity of a change. So, speaking of this seventh ray, which is which will help us to reestablish order, the order of love, uh, we see this quote, the seventh ray will foster the group spirit and the rhythm of the group, the objectives of the group, and the ritual working of the group will be the basic phenomena. So another way to say that love through order is the basic principle of right relationships is this. The immediate objective of the human kingdom is consciously to establish systemic relations and be actively and consciously part of group work. So again, consciously is much the second aspect and uh, systemic relations, we can say that is really seven three. And um, a relation is the world related to the fire element we will see further. So the opportunity offered for the third millennium, which is the first decanate of Aquarius ruled by Saturn, is therefore to establish conscious or systemic relations in imitation of the hierarchical principle and ashrams. So the scientific fifth ray and the occult fifth, seventh ray will assist us to increasingly realize the Aquarian group consciousness and group initiation through golden and harmonic relationships. So we can imitate this hierarchical principle or model in every aspect and activity of our group working, thinking, planning and being. This is a, an image that shows the relationship between uh, Sanat Kumar at the center, the three Buddhas of activities. Each Buddha is made of uh, an, um, a department of the uh, 15 Kumaras and each point of the uh, five point star is the center of a six point star and so on. So this is the 105 Kumaras that in, in that last, in that um, ancient moment established the hierarchy on earth 18 million of years ago. So here again about golden or right relationships. As I said, relation is the key word for the fire element. And um, according to the divine proportion of Venus, fifth ray, are first fixed, as we said, onto the fiery agony fifth plane, the higher causal manas, where human souls and minds are attested, where we can learn the art of composing the causes the art of thinking and building evolutionary thought forms. So this is just the focus of this um, presentation. The art of composing the causes. So 
So this art of composing the causes reflects the very art of creation of the ideas from the fourth Buddhist Christic plane and onto the fifth world of fire and is the sole art of building evolutionary formulas and thought forms. And the real fiery thinker is our soul, that is our monadic lotus or heart, which is the group of Christic consciousness. So we can wonder if, is this the Aquarian way to consciously work out and irradiate the evolutionary plan through human right relationships? through a new culture and civilization. Okay. So as we know, the one uses seven rays in order to realize its will in space. This is a quote, a wonderful quote about the seven rays, uh, which are the hierarchical principle and order. And they are the sum total of the divine consciousness of the universal mind they might be regarded as seven intelligent entities through whom the plan is working out they embody divine purpose express the qualities required for the materializing of that purpose and they create the forms and are the forms through which the divine idea can be carried forward to completion they are the conscious executors of divine purpose. They are the seven breaths animating all forms which have been created by them to carry out the plan. So I have to say that um, in this period um, we were preparing this presentation, um, many contributions arrived by um, our co-workers. So these um, Presentation is um, a group work. Um, okay, so let's um, let's see now some application of this hierarchical principle. In um, the last solstice, we presented this um, um, septenary or distant goals, as we called. And as um, Enzio Savorini, this Italian disciple, called um, may, making a first formulation to, to focus what is the evolutionary plan for humanity and uh, studying the, the, the text of decay of Blavatsky and Rerich. Um, he, he has found many quotes about this possibility of these formulas for the first distant goal is the restoration of the mysteries second the return of the christ everybody can recognize these goals in the text the third is group initiation which is the aquarian way for uh, ascending the fourth goal is imitation of the hierarchy the fifth new culture and new civilization the sixth new world religion the seventh order restoration of the plan on earth. So, in the, um, this is the, the table of the plan with uh, also 42 uh, secondary goals for, the, for our endeavor. So, the proposal of today is that, um, ah, here, sorry, here are some other images that show um, how the hierarchical principle of the seven rays can be applied to organize a group or a thought form or um, uh, whatever being. So this is a hypothesis put in the fourth ray in the center, which is um, a soul perspective. Um, and um, it's incredible how the the sum, the tot, sum total of each diagonal is always 12, which is the number of the petals of the heart, of the consciousness, the 12 zodiacal signs, the years of Jupiter around the sun. So this is um, a way to put the seven ray in order to, um, to help or to fix the evolution uh, or the star formation for the um, group consciousness. 
okay, here there is a table that uh, puts the, the seven distant goals related to seven figures of the plan, the center, circumference, triangle, square, star of five, star of six, the overall design of the seven elements of space and the seven sacred luminaries. So this is a way to also to follow the plan in the heavens. So Jupiter is not only uh, a planet, but is the principle that helps the return of the Christ in us helps the descent of the heaven in the heart. And um, also the visualization of this love, wisdom, has the, the circle, the circumference, um, and the space as uh, its um, very elements. And so we can also build a, a creative imagination and a visualization just starting from the application of this hierarchical principle. So, so the seven rays are the divine builders of the new solar order on Earth, we know, and the, the new human order, the hierarchical, um, the hierarchical one humanity must learn to express them consciously in planetary group consciousness. So here on the website, there is this um, text asserting the planetary plan, which um, collects all this information about the plan, about the septenary, the application group work. And um, we are thinking also for those interested that uh, you can contact uh, on the website and we can also organize a star work group um, with some uh, meetings, regular meetings to to experience together this um, the hierarchical model. So only in group consciousness by merging into an integrated and responsive complex, it is in fact possible to support those energies of cosmic rays that drive the human center to the necessary evolutionary goals of the hierarchical plan. Hence, according to the as if rule, let us imagine our fiery unity of hearts as a central human presence, as the central magnet of the future planetary order. So it's uh, like an exercise of abstract idealism, um, this uh, this presentation, this invitation. So it's like uh, it's not someone which speaks to someone else, but it's the new group of our servers that um, gives voice on the fact to the fact that we can um, focus on our um, best energies, on our uh, fundamental oneness, and um, as if we can consider um, to nourish this central magnet to help the externalization of, of hierarchy. And in these seven steps, seven years, prepare this um, central human presence that is like a monadic um, focus. Um, apart from our limits, boundaries, and the personal and individual limits, doesn't matter. We, everyone, of, will uh, try to do their best and uh, our best. But in um, in this um, um, moment, in these um, seven years, it's like um, there is this urgency. And um, so, for those that will resonate with this direct way, fiery way. Uh, we can unite and um, and try to build this thought form to build a prototype of this hierarchical humanity. And um, so the proposal is uh, to focus on this main uh, formula, which is as if we were this prototype of this hierarchical humanity of uh, planetary human order 
the planet Yoda asserts the plan of love and light. So to put this first ray, first aspect, in addition to the fact that the humanity will, the human center will uh, work out the plan, the hierarchical plan. And these are the seven uh, living centers of this formula. So you are invited to, to choose, um, depending on your um, resonance, inner resonance, heart resonance, one of these centers. So it's not for our individual being. It's like, it's um, as if we were in that center, in that um, monadic, uh, effort as a one humanity so the first ray the second ray i am the the first ray i am the central human presence so identification with that and after this some uh, co-workers will present um, their comprehension or assertion of these uh, formulas um, so the second, I am in the heart of Christ. The third, I illuminate the plant with purpose. It means that I help humanity to, to give light to this purpose. And of course, it's not an individual that can do, but the group human consciousness can. Then the fourth, from the place of fire, I contemplate and reflect the model. The fifth, I impress the plan in human mind. The sixth, I guide back to the culture of heaven. The seventh, I irradiate the hierarchical order. So we can just uh, listen what uh, the other uh, brothers and sisters have to say and then we can just um, explore the coordination of this um, integrated formula so let's oh here here is the lambdoma with the seven these seven formulas with their 42 secondary formulas these are practiced in um, in our group uh, sewing and life each day and uh, in special dates when the luminaries are aligned in a special way so according to the uh, indication of the teaching this work of ideal composition at the level of causes higher mental must be constantly loved and held in the light through the creative image, imagination, as well as vitalized in the third eye, with united breath and unified rhythm with the higher septenaries and in agreement with the heavenly cycles. At the end of this presentation, Enrica will hold a meditation um, just to help this uh, building, common building. So, we can begin with the first formulas. Yes, hello, this is Sebastian Anselmus speaking from Sweden. Are you hearing me? Yes. Okay. Uh, I am to say some words about uh, the first ray formula. I am part of a group in Sweden which has experimented with uh, this work for 10 years now and we have found it very powerful and um, in a way to invite new people to go into this work uh, without uh, the long study we have had who are assembled here of, of uh, the esoteric teaching and of the uh, the first goal i am the central human presence to live as if uh, i found find that if many join this uh, 
there would be a transformation. And uh, I'm thinking about um, <clears throat> that on the 25th of September 2015, 193 nations in the United Nations General Assembly adopted the resolution transforming our world, the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. As encouraging as, encouraging as this is, in the 17 goals set to achieve a sustainable development by 2030, as disheartening is, it is that the constitution of the divine nature of man, the divine plan and humanity's role in that plan is not recognized. <clears throat> it is obvious that both the subjective and objective organization of the new group of world service has to be improved. Implementing the planetary order to assert the plan we have in light is one way of doing that. And from the text in the planetary plan, asserting the planetary plan, it is stated like this. As hierarchy serves the central purpose or propulsive impulse of planetary life, so this human order focused on the higher mental causal level responds to its own jewel of synthesis to the one spirit of humanity that central human presence which is the only point of tension able to assert the plan on earth thank you Yes, and the second way formula is I am in the heart of Christ. The return of the Christ is the central magnet of the planetary field of service. I am in the heart of Christ, which knows love as the only universal motive. And from where the heart of humanity is informed, where from all developments and expansions of consciousness are nourished. So we're ready for ray three. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we, yes, we can. Yes, Enrica. Okay, so um, I'm going to speak a little bit on the third ray. Um, so the three, uh, based on my interpretation of the various texts, um, kind of the key phrases and words that stand out to me is uh, radiation, and sewing. So the three radiates and sews and communicates and disseminates. So we already went through the first and second and if we take the analogy of the first ray um, of willpower as the seed um, in which the will and the power lies dormant and the second ray of love wisdom as the field of space then the third ray can be seen as the sower. So the one who realizes the identity between the seed and the sower. So the third ray of active intelligence is a project of sowing. And the essential energy of the third ray is light, creative intelligence, the plan. And it translates operationally as planning, illuminating, designing, innovating, arranging, updating. And in fact, we can see each of the seven rays, which we'll go through the following ones, as seeds of the seven essences. And so the purpose of the third ray is to love, to warm, and sow them into space. 
and they can be the lights, the sounds, the rhythms, the formulas and symbols. And I think another important note about uh, the third ray is that together with the first and the second, it forms a divine triplicity. So the three become one. And these three are the three major aspects, major rays of aspect. So the three um, spirit life to the service of humanity actually stand at the center in the place of fire where it's closer to the mystery is closer to the one is closer to the supreme model from that burning place in every man with mercury the second luminary that conveyed the first ray we can contemplate that model. We can be magnetized by heat and be pervaded by fire. So we can reflect to the best of our possibilities that portion of the divine, divine plan that we have understood. Uh, thus, uh, the plan penetrated uh, at the ignites human consciousness and spreads the seed of a new culture. This uh, sacred action is part of the concordant project for the year 4045, a common progress that the functionaries of the fourth ray direct towards the turning on of beauty and harmony. Yeah. Hello, this is Sebastian uh, speaking yeah. again. Uh, I want to share with you some of our experiences here in Sweden with a table of the plan with which uh, Antonella has showed you as an expression of the fifth goal, which is I impress the plan in human minds. As I said before, we have found this a quick way to awaken young people to the great possibilities now upon us as they choose the goal which resonates with their mind and hearts and then uh, another goal in the other six minor goals, which they can concentrate and meditate on, and so in cooperation with others, 
share and contribute to this great purpose which is now upon us. And I know also that uh, there are some other who has some uh, thoughts about this fifth goal also, so I will leave the world over to them. Enrica, did you prepare something for the fifth or we can pass to the sixth? Um, it, I mean, uh, with time wise, um, should we move on to the sixth or? Yeah, yeah. And I'm not sure for the sixth, I had also some notes, um, but I'm not sure if Adriano wanted to share Hello. his um yes. he is on the sixth mm -hmm. yes i'm i'm ready if you want yes, yes. go adriano <laughs> hi okay i prepared some notes about the, the sixth formula that um, say i guide back to culture to the culture of heaven heaven is sacred whether we admit it or not, it is the inspirer of that religious sense to which men do not know how to, nor can, renounce without withering. Heaven appears to be the only thing endowed with all the characteristics and prerogatives that men attribute to the divine. It is omnipresent, impassive, loving, unlimited, unitary, septenary, immaterial, eternal, ritual, all-encompassing, intelligent, aware, alive, omnipotent, creative, impersonal. It is certain that heaven is the most perfect symbol of divinity. The thinker thought it is given to everyone to glimpse the divine mansion, but the eye must first grow accustomed to gazing at the celestial radiance and perceiving the life of space in all its fullness. He to whom the heavens are empty has an empty heart. Humanity, when it will be unified in one only people made of many peoples, will see heaven as its homeland and the temple of the common religion. Thank you. Kind of this, this building upon um, sorry. building upon what Adriano has just said um, for the sixth ray. I also uh, had some notes that um, kind of guiding back to this culture of heaven. I think the sixth has this tremendous weight of um, kind of that true synthesis and group consciousness, which we find is still absent, although we are making progress and we're making the small actions that can lead towards it. So until that, um, that time of right relationship and group consciousness is realized, then the work of the sixth ray cannot be satisfied completely. Um, so I, I think the importance of the sixth ray is understanding properly the laws of living and working together and fostering uh, the science of right relationship and the laws of community. Yeah, and also the, this picture shows that the solar um, higher brothers are our masters in right relationships of the seven brain. 
let's go to the seventh. Hello, do you hear me? Smiley speaking. I irradiate the hierarchical order. So what does humanity irradiate today? Most of the time, the intellect based on material values are flooding the planet through internet, social media, and numerous TV channels. The news is often material news, not celestial ones. At the same time, internet gives the new group of world service the possibility to make the teachings available and to coordinate our efforts, just as we do now. The other internet, the etheric web, connects us to the planets, the solar system, and the constellations. And when, fo when we follow their rhythms, we, humanity, as a structured group, will be able to irradiate the hierarchical order so the plan of love and light will be able to build a new culture and civilization on the planet and to a needy humanity. This is what the TPS is offering all of us who will join in this work. Thank you. Okay, so maybe we can open a space for possible um, observations or questions or offering of contributions. And uh, we maybe for a, a next time when for, with people interested in uh, uh, applying the hierarchical model to the group working, we can go, we can pursue further this uh, integration and coordination between the seven functions. So, so in, just to give an example, if the first race identifies with and manages the will and the central purpose, which gives life and power to our meditation, <laughs> I renamed not meditation, but medit action, which is because the on the causal level when you you try to uh, compose the causes which means think by love um, it's a real action and uh, it composes the causes of the future uh, made in group consciousness but in soul in this soul level there is nothing but group consciousness and um, so if the first ray does this, identifies with and uh, manages the will and power, the second loves the central initial purpose and magnetizes the field or the infinite sacred space where consciousness finds its potential development. So for us, for example, if I, ha I, if I was um, resonating with, I am the central human presence, I, it's like I, I have to take this position of um, uh, power and, and uh, of the here and now eternity and assertion and uh, uh, stay to stay in this center, while the second uh, loses uh, themselves, loses her or himself in the heart of Christ. And this is the way to love this center of human presence, because in the center there is only the Christ, the Christic principle, and so on, and so on, the other formulas. So these seven formulas, which are the living, seven living centers of the main one, which is the planetary order, this prototype of the planetary order in, in the center of the new group of world servers, asserts the plan of love and light. So if we resonate with one of them, we can hold in our heart and so each each day in our meditation and um, after the possible questions or contributions we are going to do this common meditation and so it will be the 
a sort of first act action meditation um, towards the 2025 an organized meditation so it's nothing uh, probably uh, it doesn't substitute anything it's just a, a more concentration more focus um, meditation on this uh, higher manas level and so yes let's see if there are some uh, if I, some questions or contributions thank you everyone uh, if i may remind everybody you can click on the little hand to raise your hand if you wish to contribute you can also um, post questions or remarks into the question part of your control panel. There is also a chat where you can, uh, which you can use as well to, to contribute. Yes. Okay. Meanwhile, um, Okay, uh, if not, we can uh, also go into the meditation. Yes, maybe, yeah. So... Oh, wait, there is one. Okay. There are uh, several questions. Uh, Sara Traub asked, where can I get the four, 42 formulas? Uh, the 42 formulas you can write on TPS. Uh, there is a top menu which is called contact, and uh, you can ask us, and I can send you the email. Or um, yeah, I think it's the fastest way. I could also upload here, but maybe after it's it's ending. So yeah, you can ask. And these 42 formulas, it's, maybe it's interesting for someone to know that um, we are um, we are a, a group trying to embody and, and live in these 49 centers uh, of the as a hierarchical um, model, and uh, each of us has one of these formulas, and. Um, so apart from the, the seven main, we um, saw each each day we saw our our um, our own. So for example, I am the seven one, and um, I have uh, another form a part. So I I saw I'm sewing each day. I irradiate a hierarchical order because I am a seventh ashram. Um, so vertex, how we call it, uh, functionally. But each day I also saw the Formula 7-1, which uh, is uh, um, identify the great right of the heavens. So it's it's like um, to put each day with the creative imagination, the joy and the, the sense of this uh, unity of the human center and to visualize for example to me is the seventh uh, element of the plan which is the overall design uh, while for example for the first race the the, the point the the center of everything and uh, so i visualize this overall design and so my my not my as antonella but my as a functionary as a, as a soul as a 7-1 server, I'm sowing this sense of um, precising this great right, uh, celestial right. And, uh, and so I'm, I'm receiving also some inspiration from, from that because it's really the goal that uh, then informs you. It's not the, 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 the contrary. And yeah, and so the celestial right progressively reveals um, its uh, treasures and also 
it's um, great uh, solutions, so to speak. Um, I have just posted in the chat window uh, the website address of the planetary system, so you can click on it and find it there. Um, yeah. There is a remark from Klaas Hoekstra. Yeah. Composing on buddhic and mental levels is soul contribution in group consciousness and of third initiatory effort, isn't it? I'm trying to... Uh... I can't find it. Can you mean the question? It's in the question. Yeah. It's in the question uh, part of the dashboard. Yes, I saw only composing the word then, composing, but not the complete uh, question. And then below. Don't know why. <laughs> but, ah, below. Okay, yes. here it is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Composing on buddhic and mental level face soul contribution in group consciousness and I all. Yes, yes. Actually, um, we have uh, recently understood also with Sebastian in Sweden that this kind of work is a kind of between the second and the third initiation. So might be, may might be interesting for this level of group consciousness or evolution of group consciousness. So of course in the the art of composing causes it's um, it's not uh, um, a field for the astral body or for the etheric uh, and physical body and, and neither for um, nor for the uh, lower mental body so yes you have to sacrifice in a way uh, your uh, uh, sadness personal Personal sadness, personal problem, personal concerns, personal everything, and uh, and just lose ourselves in this joy of uh, creating uh, without uh, seeing the effects. Um, maybe we will see some effects, but it's not mm, the focus. It's really a total gift to the our lineage as uh, immortal beings as monads, cosmic monads. So thank you, class, for helping us to focus. Yes, I put the, the formulas maybe on the 49. And also they are beautiful in essence because I am the power of love, very simple, it's also a song, but I am the sound of beauty. Um, I am the creative principle of thought. I am the radiant matrix of unity and the wheel of synthesis and so on. Okay, maybe, ah, oh, there are other, okay. Yes. Class uh, wrote also other things. Yes. After third degree only in groups of three, as I understood the case. Yes, in the center there is uh, one idea, one focus, then three more um, dedicated or inflamed, then seven, then 12 probably, or nine, like in the model of the Lotus. So yeah, in there are always this hierarchy of service, not... Um, uh, of self-importance, of course, it's a uh, hierarchy of service. Okay, now so class writes, um, thank you, and so on. Maybe we can go in the meditation, because it's a bit uh, late. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, okay, each one um, with um, his or her own formula. Mm can go in this meditation and uh, thank you to 
the seven uh, directions and functionaries and um, please Enrica. Thank you. So as uh, Antonella said, um, connecting with the one group and with the purpose and choosing if we wish to hold um, one of the seven formulas in our heart center. So returning to that space, just as in the uh, beginning of the webinar when Antonella led us into an alignment. So we're gonna return to that state of alignment and letting our connection with the group and purpose infuse our being and entering the realm of light, joy, love, and power where the spiritual self, the soul, dwells. Propelled by aspiration, we make our pledge as one only group of servers. I solemnly pledge myself to play my part with joyful resolve, with earnest aspiration, to look above, to help below, to not engage in pointless reverie, to work, to serve, to reap, to pray, to serve the plan, to be the way. I focus on work to be done, not the glory I will receive. I move past desire and I strive, forgetting all reward. I postpone peace, I strive with joy. I lose myself and find myself and enter into peace. To all this, I solemnly pledge myself, invoking my higher self. As living, loving, willing souls, we joyously realize our communion with other souls, blending with the group consciousness, where all souls are one with the Oversoul. We visualize an electric flame in the center of our heart, as well as in the hearts of our group mates, burning brightly. The heart center opens into the heart of the sun, where we perceive our flame becoming connected to that which feeds it invisibly with the energy of love and light. We let the flames of our hearts expand to connect with each other in a circle of light and fire through which we exchange joy and cooperation. We see our flames rise upwards towards superconscious levels to converge in a single bright point that represents our shared purpose. The new group of world servers as the prototype of a central human presence of a planetary human order asserts the plan of love and light on earth. Now, repeat that again, the shared purpose, the new group of world servers as the prototype of a central human presence of a planetary human order asserts the plan of love and light on earth. Reflecting on the energy 
that we are contacting of the particular ray and quality that our master in the heart responds to. And with our awareness slowly expanding and unfolding in aspiration to that inner sound and relevant formula, one of the seven vital centers of the planetary order. And here we will invoke once again the seven formulas as if it were a sevenfold activation. One, I am the central human presence. Two, I am in the heart of Christ. Three, I illuminate the planetary purpose. Four, from the place of fire, I contemplate and reflect the model. Five, I impress the plan in human minds. Six, I guide back to the culture of heaven. Seven, I irradiate the hierarchical order. Let us reflect on how we can identify with and embody this movement, attitude, and aspiration in order to see or build the new culture and civilization of light in love and beauty. Let us build this thought form with care, love and attention, realizing that it embodies the ray direction of our sevenfold focus in the United Great Service to 2025. Our ideal of the higher group consciousness made operational and all the virtues scintillating, multicolored, and vivified by our love. Since now, and for each day for the next seven years, to the initiatory door of 2025. Now we visualize and feel part of the living and luminous network that surrounds the planet Earth as it is made up of all of us. The women and men and groups working through thoughts of loving light for a new culture and civilization. Let us identify in united breath and unified rhythm with the spiritual hierarchy whose blessing descent of the divine energies of light 
love and power we invoke with faith, joy, and gratitude by pronouncing the great invocation. From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into human minds. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into human hearts. May the coming one return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide all little human wills, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center which we call the human race, let the plan of love and light work out and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let love and light and power restore the plan on earth. Remaining in an attitude of reverent, silent, receptivity. We radiate the divine energies telepathically in all directions towards all the groups that work to promote the coming of a new age to all beings and to the whole planet. We sound the sacred Om, breathing forth the spiritual energy as a purifying and healing force in the world, strengthening the new group of world servers in every country as its members work to establish right human relations and a new planetary order. Thank you very, very much for this beautiful meditation and rich presentation. Thanks, Daniela, and to everyone. So, yeah, um, it's a great solstice. It is. It's a, a glory to be together and uh, to serve the one work. Thank you. So just before we um, conclude our webinar, um, I would like to announce our next webinar, which will take place on the June 28th for the full moon. And we will have as panelist Kenneth Sorensen, who will address the topic of um, the seed group eight, the psychologist. And um, just before we go, let's conclude with sounding of the Gayatri. Oh thou 
who give us sustenance to the universe, from whom all things proceed, to whom all things return. Unveil to us the face of the true spiritual sun, hidden by a disk of golden light, that we may know the truth and do our whole duty as we journey to thy sacred feet. Thank you, everyone. See you very soon. Goodbye.